Barbara, yes, the family attorneys and the family very upset about the video they say they were shown here at the public safety building here just moments ago. They say they were only shown one body camera and it was only 20 seconds. And they say that that is not transparency as there were multiple sheriff's deputies involved in this incident. But again, they say that they were only shown one 20 second clip. Now, there was also an argument about who could view the video as there are several high profile attorneys attached to this case. Now they wanted to view the video and the county attorney got into an argument with them about that. So very, very tense here following the viewing of this 20 second body camera clip. And we know one of the attorneys was able to view it. She wrote down everything that she saw and here's how she's describing what is on that body camera footage. Let's be clear. This was the execution. Yeah, I know it. Andrew Brown was in his driveway. Mm -hmm. The sheriff uh, truck blocked him in his driveway mm -hmm. so he could not exit his driveway. Andrew had his hands on his steering wheel. Mm -hmm. He was not reaching for anything. He wasn't touching anything. He wasn't throwing anything around. He had his hands firmly on the steering wheel. They run up to his vehicle shooting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sure did. He still stood there, sat there in his vehicle with his hands on the steering wheel while being shot at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Brown's family members were also there, including one of his sons. Here's how he is reacting to the video. It's like we're against all odds in this world. My dad got executed just by trying to save his own life. Yeah. You know, he was not in no, the, the officers was not in no harm of him at all. It's just messed up how this happened, man. Real. Execution. Real. He got executed. Now, the viewing of this video actually got delayed. It was supposed to be this morning at 1130, according to the family attorneys. But it got delayed because the county attorney wanted to blur the faces of the deputies involved before showing it to the family. That also added to some of the hard feelings people are feeling out here after seeing this video here this afternoon. Now, this was a private viewing, meaning only the family and some of the attorneys were able to view it. There are efforts, though, to get it more publicly released, including from members of the news media, including News 3, and we're expecting that to come up later this week. We know that the attorneys will, will be back here tomorrow. They plan to have another news conference to discuss the autopsy report. And coming up tonight on News 3 at 5, we'll have much more from here in Elizabeth City in reaction to the viewing of that body camera footage. Live in Elizabeth City, I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3.